The Reflections of Marcus Aurelius. Book 2. Share with yourself first thing in the morning. Today I will meet individuals who are intruding, thankless, forceful, misleading, pernicious. Unsocial, this has tormented them through their obliviousness. Of genuine great and fiendishness, however, I have seen that the idea of good is common decency. Furthermore, the idea of abhorrent what's going on, and I have mirrored that the idea of the wrongdoer himself is much the same as my own, not a family relationship of blood, or then again seed. In any case, a partaking in a similar brain, something very similar. Section of Eternality Accordingly, I can't be hurt by any of them. Uh, none will contaminate me with their wrong. Nor could I at any point be furious with my family. Can't stand him. We were brought into the world for collaboration like feet, like hands, like eyelids, like the lines of upper and lower teeth, so to work in. Resistance to each other is against nature and outrage or dismissal is resistance. Anything that it exists being of mine is comprised of tissue breath and coordinating. Mine. Presently the tissue you ought to scorn blood. Bones a simple texture and organization of nerve. Veins and courses. Consider too what breath is wind. Furthermore not so much as a consistent yet constantly. Being ejected and sucked in once more. That leaves the third part, the coordinating. Mine. Stop your books. No seriously craving this. Is into your give. No, think like this as though you were on the... Mark of death. You are old. Don't let this coordinating. Brain of yours be oppressed anymore. Not anymore jolting to the strings of... Childish drive. No more restlessness at your present or doubt of your future. Destiny crafted by the divine beings are brimming with fortune. Crafted by fortune are not free of nature. All the turning and winding around together are the strings represented by fortune. Everything stream from that world and further factors are needed. Also, the advantage of the entire universe of which you are separated. Presently all aspects of nature benefits from that which is purchased by the idea of the entirety and all which protects that nature and the request for the universe is protected similarly by the progressions in the components. Furthermore, the progressions in their mixtures let this be enough for yourself as well as your steady principle. Furthermore, surrender your hunger for books so that you don't pass on a moat. However, in evident effortlessness and genuine appreciation to the divine being, recollect how long you have been putting this all. How frequently have you been given a time of effortlessness by the divine beings? Furthermore, not utilized, it is about time now for you to grasp the universe of which you are separated. What's more, the legislative head of that universe of who you comprise and spread and that there is a breaking point bought into your time in the event that you don't utilize it to clean up your mists, it will be no more. Also, you will be gone in the open door. Won't return. All day long give fiery consideration as a Roman and as a man to the execution of the errand close by with exact examination with unaffected pride with human compassion with impartial equity and talk emptying your brain from any remaining considerations. Also, you will accomplish this excursion if you play out each activity as though it were the remainder of your life. Liberated that am all absence of point from 
All enthusiasm drove deviation from them. Mandate of reason. From misrepresentation, from self-esteem, from disappointment with what destiny has managed. You, you perceive what a limited number of things a man needs to. A use for the settled progression of a God-dreading life. The divine beings themselves request nothing more from one who keeps these observances. Self-hurt, my spirit, you are doing. Self-hurt. Furthermore, you will have no greater open door for sense of pride. Life for every one of us is a simple second and this existence of yours is almost over while you actually show yourself not honor. Yet, let your own government assistance rely upon other individuals' spirits. Do facades will quite often divert you then. Give yourself the space to gain proficiency with some further great example. Also, stop your pondering that done. You should make preparations for the other kind of the people who are dead to life and have not hold back nothing of each and every motivation. Furthermore, more generally, every idea are driveless, to be sure, as well as were inability to peruse what's going on in another spirit isn't effectively viewed as a reason for despondency. In any case, the people who neglect to take care of the movements of their own spirit are fundamentally troubled. Continuously recall these things, what the nature of the entire is. What my own temperament is the connection of this nature to that. What sort of part it is of what sort of entirety. Also, that there is nobody who can forestall you keeping all that you say and do as per that nature of which you are separated in his similar positioning of sins, applying reasoning to the average person's qualification. Theophrastus says the protections of desire are graver than those of outrage since it is plainly a torment of some kind. Furthermore, compulsory fit which drives them. Furious man to leave reason, while the desire drove wrongdoer has given into joys. Furthermore, appears to be some way or another more deserted and less masculine in his bad behavior. Properly then, at that point, and like a genuine rationalist, Theophrastus said that more noteworthy censor joins to the offense committed under the impact of joy, than the one affected by torment, also overall. One is more similar to a harmed party constraint, to outrage by the torment of incitement, though that other is his own wellspring of the motivation, to wrong, headed to what he truly does by desire. You might leave this life without warning, have this chance, to you in all that you do or say. Or, on the other hand, think presently take off from this universe of men is nothing to fear. On the off chance that divine beings exist since they wouldn't include you. There is no such thing as in any mischief in the event that them. Or, on the other hand, in the event that they have no consideration for humanity. Then what is life to me in a world? without any trace of divine being, or on the other hand, without any trace of provision, however they do, exist. Also, they truly do really focus on mankind, and they have put it totally in labor supply to keep away from falling into the genuine sorts of damage if there were anything hurtful in the rest of involvement. They would have accommodated that too, too make it an option for everybody to stay away from falling into it. Furthermore, on the off chance that something can't make a human being more terrible, how is it that it could exacerbate his life? The idea of the entire wouldn't have been oblivious to this either 
through obliviousness or with information unaccompanied by the capacity to forestall and put right, nor would it have made so incredible a blunder through absence of force or expertise as to have great and awful falling aimlessly on great and awful individuals. The same yes, passing and life pretending. Furthermore, lowness, agony and delight riches. Furthermore, property every one of these come to great and terrible the same. Be that as it may, they are not in themselves by the same token. Right or wrong, nor are they intrinsic great or insidiousness. How all things rapidly disappear our bodies. Themselves lost in the actual world. The recollections of them lost in time that nature of all objects of the faculties, particularly those which charm us with delight, scare us with torment or partake in them. A claim of vanity. How modest they are, the manner by which despicable, poor short-lived and dead, these are matters. For our scholarly workforce to consider. Also, further contemplations, what are they? These individuals whose decisions and voices give or deny regard. What is demise somebody checking passing out, essentially? Also, applying the logical force of his brain to strip demise of its related pictures. We'll presume that it is it anything more than an element of nature. What's more, in the event that anybody is terrified of a capability of nature, he is a simple kid and passing isn't in particular. A component of nature, yet in addition to her advantage further, how monitors contact God with which part of it is be. Furthermore, when that piece of him is in what kind of attitude? Nothing is more hopeless than one who is dependably out. Also about running around everything in circles. In a way that would sound natural to Pindar digging profound into the insides of the earth. Also searching for signs and side effects to divine his neighbor's brains. He doesn't understand that it is adequate to focus exclusively on the divine inside himself. Also, to give it genuine help that assistance is to keep it uncontaminated by energy, technicality, or on the other hand, malcontented what is managed by divine beings or men. What comes from divine beings requests love or their integrity. What comes from men is welcome for our connection's purpose. Yet, here and there pitiable likewise, as it were, in view of their obliviousness of good and evil. Furthermore, this is no lesser inability than that which eliminates the differentiation of light and dull, regardless of whether you were bound to live three thousand years, or on the other hand, multiple times that long by the bot. Recall that nobody loses any life other than the one he daily routines or live. Any life other than the one he loses it follows that the longest and the most brief lives are brought to something similar. State. The current second is equivalent for also. What is passing is equivalent. Additionally, the misfortune consequently ends up being the merest piece of time. Nobody can lose either the past or the future. How is it that anyone could be denied of what he doesn't have? So, consistently recall these two things. First, that all things have been of the same kind, from never-ending coming endlessly round once more. Furthermore, it has no effect whether one will see exactly the same things for 100 years, or on the other hand, 200 years or for an endlessness of time. Second, that both the longest lived and 
the earliest to kick the bucket. Experience a similar misfortune, it is just that present second, of which either stands to be denied. Furthermore, if without a doubt this is all he has, he can't lose what he doesn't have. Everything is as thinking makes it so that answer made to monomers the critic is adequately clear. Yet clear also is the worth of his maxim. If one accepts the part of it to the extent that it is valid, the spirit of a man hurts itself first and she at the point when it turns into a different development, a sort of cancer on the universe, since to dislike whatever occurs is to isolate oneself in rebellion from nature, which holds and aggregate hug them. Specific qualities of any remaining things also when it turns away from another person, or on the other hand is even conveyed such a long ways in resistance. To plan him hurt, such is the situation in the spirits of those held by outrage. A spirit hurts itself thirdly when it yields to delight or torment fourthly at whatever point it dissimulates, doing or saying anything faked or boga. Fifthly, at whatever point it neglects to coordinate any of its own decisions or motivations to an objective, yet acts indiscriminately without cognizant consideration while even the most inconsequential activity ought to be embraced regarding them. And furthermore, the end for normal animals is to keep the explanation and the guideline of the most revered model of an overseeing state, the universe. In man's life, his time is a simple moment, his reality of transition, his insight, hazed his entire substantial peace, decay, his psyche whirligig, his fortune. Unusual is a claim. Hazy to put it in no time, everything off. The body stream away like a waterway, everything off. The psyche are dreams and daydream. Life is fighting in a visit in an odd land. The main enduring popularity is blankness. What then, at that point, can accompany us on our way one thing? Furthermore, one thing just way of thinking. This comprises in keeping the godlikeness inside us, untouched and liberated from hurt expert of joy and torment, doing nothing without point truth or honesty, also free of others' activity or inability to act, further tolerating all that occurs and is allocated to it as coming from that other source, which is its own starting point. Also, consistently anticipating passing with the happy certainty that it is just the baffle of the components of which each living animal is created now on the off chance that there isn't anything afraid for the actual component in their steady changing of each into Another, for what reason would it be a good idea for one look tensely in prospect of the change and frustrate of all. This is as per nature and nothing hurtful is as per nature.